Hello dear students. Today we are going to start our next unit that is unit number 2 lecture number 1. This unit is about the microorganisms. In this unit we will learn virus, bacteria and fungi and then usefulness and harmfulness of the microorganisms. Microorganisms are living things that we cannot see with naked eye. They can only be seen with the help of microscope. Microscope is a special type of instrument used for producing a much larger view of very small objects so that they can be seen clearly. Microorganisms may be single cell or many have more than one cell. They are widely distributed in the environment and are found in the air, soil, dust, food, etc. The word microorganism is the combination of two words. Micro means very small and organism means living thing. In this unit we shall discuss the microorganism. Main groups of microorganisms are viruses, bacteria and fungi. First we will discuss the viruses. Viruses are the smallest of all microorganisms. The word virus means poison. They are always harmful for living things as they cause diseases in humans, animals, plants and other organisms. They cause polio, influenza and other diseases. Now bacteria. Bacteria are single cell microorganisms that are present all around us. They are found in the air, water and soil. They are of different shape. Some of them are harmful by causing different diseases such as food poisoning, pneumonia, tuberculosis, etc. However, however, many of them are beneficial for us. You can see here the different shapes of the bacteria. That they may be like the circle or they may be like the rectangle shape or they may be like a string shape. Students, our next group of microorganism is fungi, or molds and yeast. You can see here the diagram of mold which is growth on the bread and you can see the diagram of yeast. Fungi cannot make their own food. They absorb food from the source they are growing on. Some fungi grow and feed on dead material while others feed on living plants and animals. Most fungi are harmless, but some cause diseases in plants and animals. Molds and yeast are common example of the microscopic fungi as you can see here. Students, in the next lecture, we will discuss about advantages and disadvantages of the microorganisms. So, please click on the subscribe button to re receive the next lecture. Thank you.